This is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna, I don't know, show you what you can do with the least amount of money to upgrade a guitar that you probably played the least amount of money for as well. Um, so, yeah, this is my eBay cheap upgrade video. Let's start with the guitar. This is, uh, as I said, probably one of the cheapest guitars you can buy. This is a used Les Paul copy. It's a Ranger. Uh, yeah. And uh, for all I know, it's probably made in Japan. Because this is um, probably the late 70s model. And back then there weren't any like, oh, it's made in China, it's worse and blah, blah, blah. Uh, most Far Eastern guitars were made in Japan. So even the bad ones came from Japan. And uh, yeah, this is an example of that. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to talk so much about guitar, but I can mention a few things. It has a bolt-on neck. It has a proper volute. Uh, so... You can see why I bought this guitar. Uh, the body is made of plywood and it's very hollow so the, the top of it is, I don't know if you can hear this, it's completely hollow here. It's, I mean the plywood in the bottom is, I don't know, maybe this thick and then they have this not so thick top that's on top of it and it's almost like a semi-acoustic guitar really. Uh, there were a few things that didn't work when I bought it, so hence this video and uh, the upgrades. Uh, starting with the pickups, they were one of them was completely broken. It came off in several pieces. So that would be uh, yeah, that was my first concern. That was the thing that was really completely broken and, and useless. I put in some other pickups that I had laying around. Uh, and one of them turned out to not be uh, wax potted. And since I play hard rock heavy metal at the moment, you can't have unpotted pickups. It's very nice for vintage sounds, but no, it doesn't work with this. So I got the cheapest pickups money can buy. Or at least that I can find. Uh, I mean, these, this pair, this set of pickups costs, I don't know, a tenth of a Seymour Duncan pickup around there. So you get the idea. Uh, it's of course ceramic and uh, yeah. I don't know too much about the output values. It's supposed to be around eight uh, Ks, but who knows? And uh, what else? Uh, the nut was falling apart. It was plastic and it was uh, falling to pieces. So from the same place as I ordered the pickups, I ordered a nut and you can... Uh, the fewest you could get were three in a pack and they were, yeah, cost like a third of the pickups. So they didn't even cost basically anything. Supposedly made of bone. And yeah, they probably are. And finally, the tuners uh, that were, uh, yeah, the ones that I complain about a lot. And since my first guitar was a Ranger, I know what I'm talking about because I had that kind of tuners on it and they broke. And you can tell on the ones that were on this guitar as well that they had broken because one of them had been exchanged. So I got the cheapest locking machine heads, again from the same seller on eBay. And they costed basically nothing, about the same as the pickups, so around 10 dollars, euros, somewhere around there, for the pickup set and for the, the tuners, locking tuners. And the nut was about a third of that, so yeah, so here we are. Completely upgraded guitar. Everything has worked. So the 3 way target, even though it lacks this tip, it's still working. So I won't do anything about that. Uh, the electronics otherwise works perfectly. And the, car, the guitar, yeah, it plays. Plays okay. It costed, uh, I don't know, 
less than the cheapest you can guitar you can buy at your local guitar store since it was used and since it's not a uh, i mean sought after brand i think this brand is only sold in we're, we're only sold in some parts of the world and it's probably sold with another brand on the headstock in some other parts of the world so yeah that's it and i got this uh, really cheap uh, strap plugs as well they were from Thormann the German company so they were actually <laughs> pricier well they costed less than the pickups and the tunes but yeah you get the idea and uh, yeah so uh, yeah I'm gonna play some on it and you can hear what you get when you upgrade a very cheap guitar with very cheap parts Probably it sounds cheap, I don't know. You can judge for yourselves. So here we start with a clean sound. That's an overdrive.
finally some high gain. <laughs> Cheap upgrades. Well, this is what you get. The tuners are fine. They work really great and I've started using locking tuners. They are... makes lives easier. Uh, mine at least. And the nut is doing everything uh, I'm expecting it to do. It's very flat. It doesn't have the radius that you really wanted, but it works. And the pickups, well, sound fine to me. Especially considering that I paid nothing, basically, for them. So yeah, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd doing an eBay upgrade of a very cheap guitar. This is what you get. See you soon. Bye.